The success of Bill Joy's Unix 4.2 can best be measured by the success of his own company. Sun Microsystems, which makes a line of Unix 4.2 based mini computers and workstations, has gone from six to over 1,000 employees in three years. Sun ships more than seven million dollars worth of equipment each month to the technical and engineering communities, which find Unix 4.2 the ideal operating environment for their specialized software needs. But despite his success, Bill Joy isn't allowing his Unix 4.2 to stagnate. He continues to work closely with his university roots to improve on Unix, unlike others. Unix has hit the point where it's starting to get standardized by standards committees and adopted by and really uh, attempt to, to, to get the control of the development by major corporations like IBM and AT&T. And that, that inevitably involves a slowing down of the rate of uh, change in the system. As for the future of Unix, he says it's open source code, versatility, and ability to work on a variety of machines means it will be popular with scientists and engineers for some time. Unix will be important if it can deliver applications that people want to run. The technical market needs more operating system capabilities than you're likely to see from the smaller systems. So we don't, we don't really have an alternative applications delivery vehicle than, than, than Unix. But will Unix ever make it big in the business market? Bill Joy doubts it. He says what's needed is a Unix-based business program like Lotus 123, something big and successful. And until that's written, he says, quote, I'm not super hopeful. Reporting for the Computer Chronicles, I'm Wendy Woods.